Tech Tips video time. This time I'm going to be talking about something basic with bike assembly. And this is one of those things that once you know it, you know it. But if you don't, you don't. And it's easy to get messed up and you can mess up your build and have a bike that you can't even pedal. And what I'm talking about is putting pedals on a bike. A lot of people get these bikes over the years. I've had many people tell me that they got their bike in the box, got it put together, the handlebars on, the front wheel on. They went to put the pedals on and they got them mixed up and stripped out the threads on the pedals. It's so easy to do. Usually these are alloy crank arms. The pedals almost always steal here so you can guess which is going to give first. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial basics of putting pedals on a bike. And the first thing you need to know is which side is left and which is right because many people get confused. They look at the bike from the front and that's wrong. The proper left and right is as if you were sitting on the bike. So imagine you're grabbing the handlebars. The left hand, the left leg, is going to be on the left side. Your right hand, your right leg, your right foot will be on the right pedal. So this, the drive side of the bike, is the right side and calls for the right pedal. So that's pretty simple, right? Well, it gets confusing when it comes to putting these pedals on. Usually there is a sticker. Often there's also one on the crank. This had them, I just pulled it off. But you'll see there's a rotation direction. And this is easy to get confused too because you're looking at it in this plane, but it's going, rotating in this plane. But the right pedal, that's gonna thread on clockwise, just like you normally would. The left one, a little different, but we'll get to that in just a second. First, let me show you putting on this right pedal the proper way. To start with, I need to mention, you're going to need a tool. You're going to need a 15 millimeter wrench. This is a park tool pedal wrench. It's designed specifically for pedals. And a factory pedal like this on a factory Schwinn or a big box Schwinn, you're going to have room for a standard wrench. On more expensive pedals, sometimes it gets really close, and that's where this thin wrench comes in handy. Let me show you here. We've got our threads. We've got the threads here. This is right-handed, the right side right-handed, and there's a trick an old bike shop told me. The way you can know you're always going in the proper direction is you go down and to the back. Down and to the back. So that's the way you always want to turn. Down and to the back. So let's put this pedal on. What I'm going to do here... So I'm going to start it, and this is the tricky part. I want to get it started and make sure those threads are going in nice and easy. If you feel any resistance, you need to back it out and take a look. Let me show you here. Here is a pedal. Let's see if I can find this side. See a little bit of roundness there. It's probably blurry, but a little bit of roundness there where this pedal was going in wrong. And if someone would have kept trying to go in, and this was me putting this on a different bike, if I would have kept going, I would have stripped out the crank arm. So you want to make sure that you get it biting and get it going in proper. And then when you get to a point that you can't tighten it by hand, you can use your wrench to tighten it up the rest of the way. Okay, I've skipped ahead to where I have it hand tightened all the way to the base. And then you want to give it a good snug. Usually grab onto this other crank arm and give it a good snug, nice and tight, but I mean, don't wrench with it like you're trying to put a lug nut on a car. Just want it nice and tight so that it doesn't wobble around. And that pedal is installed, but that's the easy one. Let's flip this around and get to the other side because that's the one that's different. All right, now to the one on the left-hand side again. Sitting on the bike, holding the grips. It's the left grip, left leg. And this is the one that most people mess up because it goes backwards tightening is counterclockwise and somehow that really messes with the human mind I'm trying to get this lined up and started it's so easy but take your time just like the other side down and back down and back that's how we want this turning so i'm gonna gingerly just feel around till i get this started and see now that i'm doing it on camera even i struggled there for just a second all right, so I've got this started. Taking my time, making sure I don't have anything cross-threaded. Again, if I feel any resistance, I'm going to back this, in this case, clockwise off and check my threads. But I'm good here. So I'm going to tighten this all the way up using my wrench to snug it the rest of the way down. 
And again, if I wasn't doing this on camera, I would be holding on to the other crank arm and snugging this down well before the purposes of this video. Just gonna get this snug enough. And here's the thing with this, with the tightening down, you can always tighten and after your ride, you can check it again and make sure that it's still snug, in which case you know it's firm enough. So just a good snugging down and that's all there is to it. And now you know the trick, tightening down and to the back, no matter which side you're on, which pedal, down and to the back. But there's one other thing that you need to know. I've encountered this, I think only one time, but it is important to note. So let me get some pedals and I'm gonna show you something. Here we go, the other set of pedals. And as you can see, on big box bikes, Schwinn's, Mongoose, and so on, they're always labeled. I've never seen them without stickers. However, I have run into one time where the stickers were backwards. The one that said it was on the left pedal was actually on the right pedal and vice versa. It's only happened one time. It wasn't on a Schwinn, just FYI. You can make sure you have the proper pedal somewhere on a pedal. On these Schwinn pedals, most big box, they're going to be stamped in there. don't know if you can see that. There is an L on this one, and there is an R on that one. Can you see that? Is that blurry? Yeah, there you go. L and R, so that'll tell you, obviously, left and right. Sometimes, if it's more expensive pedals or a different platform style, they might be stamped down in here or somewhere in this area. Just look a pedal over, and it will. Heck, look at this. Even this one, it says R right there, so this one should say L. Yeah. So we have L and R on both pedals in two locations. So check there, check somewhere on the pedal face, really regardless of brand. It'll be in one of those two locations. So make sure that your pedals are the proper left and right before you start trying to put them on. Because of this being backwards threaded, if you swap sides, you can easily mess up the threads. And trust me, you do not want to mess up the threads on a crank set. There is a special tool to get these crank arms off. You can always go and buy more pedals. Pedals are a lot cheaper and easier to deal with than a crank arm. So I hope this helped you out. Comment below if it did. And if you are a regular viewer and you have better tips, a better, easier way to inform people to put on pedals, feel free to comment with it. Thank you so much for watching Kev Central. I hope you could tolerate the rain and storms in the background. Have a great day.